today's project diary I will share a few ideas on how to ripen green tomatoes. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. In today's video I want to answer a question I keep getting asked recently is why are your tomatoes not turning red? Now this could be a few things and I will explain all of them uh, through the duration of this video but one of the main things could be is the weather. Now as you know we've had a really terrible summer this year but now we're getting absolutely glorious sunshine and this could be a huge uh, problem for your tomatoes mainly because uh, your tomatoes need to produce two things is uh, lycopene and carotene this is what makes the uh, tomatoes turn red now in order for your tomatoes to start producing these they need to be kept at a regular temperature of above 50 degrees and below 85 degrees Fahrenheit so your tomatoes really need to be kept at an optimum temperature between 70 and 75 degrees failing this they'll just stay green but don't worry too much because you can still turn these into a chutney or a salsa verde this tomato has already started to turn from green into red but the others are still on their green stage the first little tip is leaving this red tomato on the vine as long as you can as you can see the tomato just down from the ripening one is also turning red this is because when a tomato is going through its ripening stage it will produce a non-harmful gas called ethylene this gas will then slowly encourage all the other tomatoes to ripen now I'm just going to move over here to another bunch of tomatoes now as you can see there's some marks on here now if anyone knows what this is please leave a comment below I have a feeling it's just a slight marking due to the fact it's been hitting up against the vine and it's nothing to worry about but it's definitely not anything like a fungal infection or blossom end rot now the reason why I think these aren't ripening is because we're finally getting some summer weather some days this week have been into the mid and high 80s but the evenings are starting to drop and feel really cold which means these aren't sitting at an optimum temperature for very long. So by now these branches may be showing some signs of age. So it really doesn't matter if you start cutting these off. Obviously the plants still need some energy from the sun so don't cut all of them off, just maybe the first four or five. So at this late stage of maturity these branches are going to be way too thick to snap off using your fingernail. So get any kind of sharp tool, I'm using a pair of scissors. This would be a lot easier if I wasn't cutting and trying to film at the same time. But just cut the branch off as close to the stem as possible. Doing this would allow more nutrients to go into the tomatoes instead of wasting any going into unnecessary parts of the plant. Once you've cut this off there is no problem you putting this into your compost heap as long as it's not showing signs of disease. So other than the huge cobweb these tomatoes are almost ready to harvest and beautifully red. But as you can see further up the stem you can see dark patches on there. This is signs of early blight which is a fungal disease and as you can see it's starting to affect the fruit. Now there's nothing you can do at this stage once it's got into the stem but all you need to do is pick these fruit off because they're inedible anyway. Make sure you discard all of these fruit in a safe way and don't add them to your compost heap. Doing so can allow the fungal spores to live in your compost and come back and infect newer plants next year. I think the disease has only affected two of these tomatoes so I'm going to leave the rest on and hopefully these will ripen up in the next few days. And with a bit of luck they'll look as juicy and healthy as these ones. Now with this step you want to check your weather to see when your first frost date is going to be or when the temperature starts to permanently drop below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now depending on variety a tomato will take around 25 days to mature from flower. So if your first cold spell comes in less than a month you want to pinch off all of the flowers mainly because this is wasted energy going into fruit that just won't harvest. It's the same thing for any fruit that seems too small that won't mature enough in the next few weeks. Now I know it seems a waste taking these ones off but it seems completely pointless leaving these on if they're not going to mature enough. You want all of the energy to go into the bigger one that's left. Now the last tip is to make sure you really water these well if it's really hot weather out. You may even need to do these once in the morning and once again in the evening after sunset. And always make sure you're watering around the root system and not just the base of the stem. Make sure you give them a good 5-10 to 10 seconds soaking. Allow the water to seep into the soil. And then water again for another 5 or 10 seconds. The reason why you need to keep the watering up is because you don't want the skins of these tomatoes splitting. If you'd like to see my full video on how to stop this, click the link on the screen now. 
So hopefully that's given you enough information on how to turn your green tomatoes red while they're on the vine. Now there are a few methods you can do while they're off the vine, say if your frost date's coming too soon and you've had to cut them off, or if your weather's just too hot. Um, you can actually use a brown paper bag, but I will do this video in the future, so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases, click the subscribe button here. Here are some links to some of my other videos, and if you've tried this or any other project, I'd love to see your progress, so please join my Facebook gardening group where thousands of people are sharing photos and ideas daily. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.